everybody, I am Moldy Wesley, and this is Torchlight 2 once again. We're still in Tarox Rift, trying to find that source of mana that that guy wanted me to find to recharge his thingamajig with, and I am going to do just that because I need the experience because I'm underleveled, and I don't like being underleveled. Get back here, you little dog thing. No running in the halls! You are not allowed to run in the halls! That is illegal and the punishment for running in the halls is death! Death by all of my sword all up into your body! You will fall and you won't survive the fall. You will have fallen in and you will not be able to get back up because I said so! And I want all your stuff. I will take it all. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Y'all gonna think I'm a big mean guy because I probably am. You need to die. You need to die. Stop floating away! You must stay and get sorted out of existence because I hit you with my sword. Sword hit for all of you. And then you stop living, yes? Good. And you down, you down, you down. God damn, how many people need to go down? I think that was all of them. That looked like a lot of them. But of course there's more. There's always gotta be more. Okay, I think that's all of them now. Oh, never mind, there's still one left. And there. Now that's all of them. Okay, of course, there's gotta be a guy hiding in the pots. Why now? Why? That is just so rude and dumb. And I'm gonna take this crest shield and I'm gonna put the thing in there. And. It's floating into the hole now, isn't it? Is that supposed to happen? Is it supposed to... F okay, I saw bones. The mana forged. Great. What are you doing over here? I thought I killed everyone here. But now there's more guys appearing. Not okay, sir. I'll just crush you, Mr. Mana Forge. You do a lot of damage. But it will not be enough to stop me from kicking your ass right in the dick! Your ass shall fall. Your ass is down. Your things now belong to me! And you need to die too because you're ugly. You need to die because you're dumb. And you need to die because I said so. I'll take that, and I will crush all of your intestines. Yay! Return to the surface! Surface time for everybody! Of course, there's a goddamn mimic. As soon as I try to open a chest, it bites my damn face off. Yeah, fucking mimic. Hey, Dick Nugget, I got your Hello. thing. Well, it sounds as though my process works. But it doesn't sound like the risk would be worth the reward. Still, if my surveys are accurate, I should be able to find another mana rift somewhere else. And with any luck, it won't be as full of otherworldly monsters as that one was. Thank you for all you have done on my behalf. Please take the ember you recharged as payment for your efforts. Rift Ember! Okay. Yay! Rift Ember! Now that that's done, I'm gonna go talk to the Guardian back in town because now I will go on with story quests. My slave is gone. You broke the enchantment used to enslave the Guardian of Mana. Yeah! That means you can defeat her without destroying her. Okay. The Ezra can move the Guardian to the fortress of Riftkin in the Salt Barrel. When they are marshalling their forces for the assault on Seraphim, go fight past the Ezreal and free the Guardian. Okay. That is a real nice looking sword, and I want it! It's actually better than the one I've got. So, yeah, but I can't have it yet because I gotta do the fucking quest. I gotta do the freaking quest! Hey look, the recommended level numbers turned orange instead of red. So leveling up worked! 
Yeah, Amy! Now let's go find the fucking guardian of mana and slap some sense right into its guardian ass! And I just noticed this guy over here is still trapped inside the wall. That glitch will never correct itself, now will it? And I'm also realizing that none of the enemies in this place have respawned. Meaning that they just don't respawn. Unless maybe I traveled back to the first section of the game and then came back here, then maybe after reloading the place they'd respawn. Maybe. Oh, those recommended levels are red. Who cares? I've already fought things in that area, and now I'm even stronger than I was when I defeated them. Boris the Stout. Enchants items with attribute boosts. So, would you be able to enhance my sword? A uh, sword? Yes, but at a great cost that I can't afford. You greedy, greedy little bastard. But then again, I guess your prices are based on your talent and not my budget. So, yeah. You get paid what is worth your time. I understand that, but still fuck you because I don't want to pay that much. That thing looks like a Pokemon. Fucking looks like Parasect. I've seen Parasect before. It's a big fucking mushroom crab. I like Pokemon. Pokemon is cool. I always will play Pokemon until the day I die. Though I probably won't watch the show. That seems more geared toward children. As I grew older, I lost interest in the show, but the games will never not be fun for me. Stop fluttering around, you little shitbag. Give me that key. I want golden key, and I will use golden key when I find a locked golden chest, and I will smash this fucking rat's nest. There, the rat nest explodes into chunks of wood, blood, and gore. That is the only way to truly deal with them rat nests. And that is a lot of dead men in need of a dying. Why are there so many rat nests in this place? I just want to go places without having to exterminate huge swarms of rats. Is that too much to ask? What is this fucking New York with all the rats running around? That is not a very accurate observation, actually. I don't even know if there are rats in New York. Well, there probably are, but I don't know how many. I know nothing of New York. Okay, guess I'm in this place now. All it takes was the door falling down and opening up, and then I just teleported inside because I can do that because I'm a goddamn wizard. And wizards is evil. That means I am the evil. And the world will be enslaved by me and my magic. Isn't that right, you big ass ugly motherfucker? You are dead, and I forgot those guys explode. That seems like useful information that I should probably be holding on to. Now I'm just gonna have to start burning through my healing juice because these are the higher level enemies that I was beefing up so I could fight them without any trouble. They are less trouble than they would have been if I were not stronger, but still, they are a good bit of trouble. And the more I destroy, the more experience I get. I like seeing that experience bar fill up down there a little bit with each enemy that I slay. Makes me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. Jesus! Spine crawler, you are probably doing a lot of damage to me. That is why I said Jesus. 
because that is why I wanted to talk. I don't even need a reason for talking. I'm talking for no reason. Get your little copter ass back here. Or perhaps I shall kill your mother. Then you will stop being a bitch now, won't you? Quit running around, you little shit. You must die. So, where exactly are these guys keeping that guardian that I'm supposed to fix? That would be a very good thing to know. Now, let's just crush all of your sphincters, and then I'll ask the questions later, okay? Always kill, then ask the questions from the corpses. That is the way to do things. If the corpse can answer, it will. And if it can't, I will destroy it. If a corpse can't answer a question, then what good is a corpse? Now I will destroy you and your family and friends. Anyone else? Yes, of course. There is always more. There is always somebody else. And they shall all crumble like the little cookie bastards they are. And that's a lot of bullets flying into my body. I should probably do something about that. Now, shouldn't I? Stop being alive! I will crush all of you! You cannot stop me! I am unstoppable! All the stopping is not that thing that will be done by me. Eat a dick, you mobile sentry piece of shit. You too, ugly guy. You're just ugly, so I don't like you. Because you're ugly. And now... Oh look, there's another guy. More guys! How do they have all these machines running around? They must be smart people to know how to make machines. I certainly don't know how to make machines, even though I assembled the computer that I'm playing this game on. But I didn't make the computer. I just bought all the pieces and then put them together like Legos. Because I like playing with toys. I am Lego Man. Hear me roar, bitch! How many shock copters do you need? God damn. It's a lot of copters. Lots of shocky little boys that are not alive anymore because I fucking killed them! But there are more guys to be killed up ahead, and they'll get what's coming to them in the next episode! Because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you don't want to see you in the next one. Goodbye.